Hello everyone, I am Erika of the storytellingjubbler.com and you are watching No One Has To Be Alone. I hope you can hear me, I hope you can see me. Let's do a quick technical check before I start saying something important because today I have so much to tell, you won't believe. <laughs> I already see that there are 20 of us out there. Can you please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me? Maria, Honey, Sarah, Angelica, welcome ladies. I hope you are doing well. Okay, Sarah says that she can hear me and she can see me. Thank you for confirming. Also, Viveka is here, Corinne, Belinda, Petra, Ingrid, Frida, Kata, Kiki. I'm really happy to see you, Kiki. I know that many times you had to work lately on Friday evenings and you had to watch us uh, later. What is also nice, but it's so much more fun when we can actually be together. And Sharon and Liv and Niti and Honey. Donna, Monica, Kimberly, Sandra, and Iris, Teresa, Eleanor, Lynn, Cheryl, Martine, Becca, Nicoline, Mary Ellen. Oh my God, so many of us today. I hope it's because you really like the necklace. I do. I have to say, you know, like, a couple of uh, days, maybe like a week and a half ago, I moved into my like separate bleeding room because up until this point, my home atelier, it was actually part of our living room. I would say it was a living room atelier. So also partially that was the reason why the beginning of uh, lockdown was so hard for me because I was trying to work and focus and do the videos from the living room while there was always someone working out next to me and sweating. There was a cloud computing workshop in the background. You could also hear that several times. And now I finally moved into my own beading room and it just feels so good and calm. And this is one of the first designs which I started and finished here in this new room of mine. And last weekend, I just started to play. I really like the color of these half tila beads I used and I have never used them before. So I just started to play, play and this is what, this is what came out. And yeah, I actually really also like to wear it. So I wanted to have it on today. <laughs> yeah, and Corinna says that, see here, download, all working. Then I'm really glad. Lately, I'm struggling with technical stuff. Not even Adam, who is an IT guy, can somehow, some, sometimes explain what's happening. My video turning green on YouTube. Or like five minutes before five today, my computer said like, Wi-Fi is all right, but you can't upload any images. Like, unbelievable. But we are here. And what was a really nice part of the day today, that I had a special treat. And Niti, who is not going to be with us today, but keeping us company, she popped over. She lives not so far. And she brought me coffee and she brought me tiramisu. And thank you so much. And it's so, so, so tasty. And wow, it was, it is a special treat. Thank you. In the meanwhile, Annaline, Miriam, Mariella, Mechtab, Teresa. Hello, ladies. So, Welcome everyone. 
the download file is already waiting for you. Many of you have already downloaded and many of you have, uh, have also uh, decided to support the broadcast and purchase the file. And I wanted to say that I really appreciate it because without you, this is not happening. We are in it together. So everyone who would like to have the printable file for today's uh, lesson, the Tirana necklace, then, uh, then you can head over to the storytellingjeweler.com slash no one has to be the long slash. And then you can get the printable. You have always two choices. If you are in a tricky situation because of the current crisis, then accept my helping hand and download the printable file for free. And if you are in the lucky situation that you are still okay, then please consider ordering the tutorial for five euros. And, uh, and that's, that's your helping hand for everyone here so we can enjoy each other's company. So thank you so much. And Malka is here and Sherry. Oh, Lynn is working already on my teardrop ring. Amazing, amazing. That was one thing what I really wanted to mention and I didn't want to forget. So I hope you have seen the tutorial I just published after a couple of days of struggling. Again, technical stuff. So this is the tribute ring. And this is the first in a series of Beating School by Erica videos that will be uploaded on, uh, on, uh, on YouTube. So in this one, you can learn how to bead embroider a ring and how to attach a ring base. It's like everything hidden. Look at it, how neat it is. So somebody is, somebody, somebody has a birthday. I'm sorry that I missed it. Who is celebrating? I see you congratulating. And it is says, you are so welcome. Hope Adam enjoyed it too. He enjoyed it very much. After lunch with our coffee, it was wonderful. Okay, tell me who has the who is the birthday girl? Okay, I will not continue until you don't tell me who is the Teresa. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Teresa. Happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'm really happy that part of your special day will be sent here uh, spent here with us. And it seems that we have a new bidder with us. Hello, Wanda. So Wanda is asking that how can she get the printable file? And Wanda, dear, first of all, welcome. I am really happy that you are here with us. I will put the link in the message field. And then you can click there and print the file which goes together with today's broadcast. You can choose if you want to download it or you want to buy it. It's up to you. And yeah, enjoy, enjoy uh, the video very much. And don't be scared. Sometimes we tend to be crazy, right, ladies? <laughs> Just warning. So, uh, on YouTube, you can find the video, by the way, uh, under my channel, it's called Beading School. Or look, uh, look for the link on my Facebook page, it's posted there from yesterday. And since we still have a couple of these beautiful handmade art cabochons, if you would like to make a ring 
with a cabochon like this then actually we are giving them away these days so if you head over to the storytellingjeweler.com and you choose three other l2 studio cabochons then the fourth one a teardrop will be your gift and we are sending them until the stock lasts so until we have teardrops we are sending three teardrops as uh, as gifts yeah and Cheryl is asking oh it's sometimes crazy yeah Rhonda like wo big warning sign this is not your ordinary beading group <laughs> Also, we drink a lot of coffee, or at least me and some of the ladies. I drink a crazy amount of coffee. That supports me also, so I can make you a tutorial every week. <laughs> so, and before we start beading, I wanted to answer actually a question which uh well this week earlier this week we had a wonderful wonderful zoom workshop and we were beating together the star storm bracelet and some of the lovely beaders who are here they were also present there and Cheryl Cheryl was there for example and she asked me about the beginnings of no one has to be the one because i just repeat the information for the newcomers so this all started after lockdown was announced all over the world to make sure that no one has to be the one so we meet every friday at the same time we always beat something else and we laugh and have fun and you know it's really like it became a community and I can say that it really became a big part, a big and important part of my life. So Sheria was asking about, about the beginnings. And yeah, well, the first thought when, 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 uh, when I read the news that what's happening in the world, First is like, first was of course like, fuck, I must be dreaming. Like this can't be true. This can't be true. This is like a bad apocalypse sci-fi movie. However, the next thing, what I thought was that we are all going to be alone. Even if, for example, living in the same city, but we are all going to be alone and all the beading workshops and all the shows and all the beading groups will have to be cancelled or who knows what will happen and my immediate reaction was like this will mess up our mental health and mental health is one of those topics which is really important for me Earlier in my life, I went through a really harsh phase of depression. Some five, it was, yeah, it was nearly six years ago. And I realized that taking care of our mental well being is just as important as like other kinds of stuff, like have something to eat, have something to, to dress up into mental health is important and emotional well-being is important so when it all started i thought like this is the aspect where i can maybe help i don't have other kind of resources i don't i am not a teacher i am not working in healthcare so i can't put my helping hand there but taking care of in my own little way taking care of my beating friends mental health that might be something where i can contribute so that was the initial thought and then only a couple of uh, maybe a week or two later actually as we started no one has to beat alone with the first bracelet the vanessa bracelet 
then actually there were the, uh, that time three of us living together a friend okay four of us a friend her poodle and my husband <laughs> and me and my husband was also well all of us were working from home and my husband's company he actually is working for a very very nice company and they sent an email to everyone working for the company about like how to survive in this situation and they even have a company psychologist in an IT company isn't it amazing <laughs> so the company psychologist she, she put together a manual for them like how to survive and the most important thing the most important point in this email was like focus on others don't focus on yourself focus on others focus on how you can help and it will all turn out at the end good because yeah if you feel that you can be maybe a bit bit useful in this situation then you will be all right so that was something like really reassuring that this is something what i have to be doing and yeah it really like i had my low points ladies even if i am smiling on the screen <laughs> believe me living together so many of us in the small flat and going into lockdown and you know i forwarded my bike i i had like a an accident so i couldn't even exercise so i was really afraid but spending time together with you that's what helped me through it and i'm really glad if i can also be a help to you so that's what i wanted to tell about the, about the beginnings and thank you again for for joining me week by week because it is amazing so trying to get back from my emotional state to like productive beating state okay sip of coffee to calm down <gasps> so yeah maria says i love these fridays i really miss them when i was away we missed you too but i hope that you rested well while you were in greece and welcome back maria And Kathy says, thank you, Erica. I enjoyed this Friday bead alongs. I look forward to them, even though I don't bead usually. And we love having you here, Kathy. And yeah, thank you all. Thank you all for being here. And a little bit back to the, to the workshop we had this week. So, yeah, lately I was thinking like beading through Zoom and meeting only through the screen of compute or computers, it is like on one hand an amazing possibility and opportunity. However, it's it also can be a little bit like get us into a nervous situation because it is completely new yes i can't go to you i can't look at your beadwork directly um, so i have to come up with ways how to make it comfortable and i was thinking that uh, about ideas how to make the online workshops better so uh, recently i introduced like i so-called erica's after workshop care packages and one of those are like we for every workshop topic we have a dedicated facebook group where we brainstorm and we talk about possibilities how to put together colors how to go forward uh, how to go further with the design so it is my helping hand 
one of those that uh, you don't have to feel limited that oh my god during those three four five hours i have to do everything and what if i am a slower beater and you don't have to worry about it because we have an ongoing thing we have the little communities around every design so there is no need to worry moreover if you have joined a workshop in the past then if the same workshop is uh, happening again and I still have free, uh, free spaces, then you can join it again. Why not? Like, it's nice to, even if you, if you know exactly what you are doing, but it's nice for the sake of the company on one hand. And on the other hand, I always try to emphasize that a design, what I show you, it is always just the beginning. And you, can take it so much further. And today I would like to show you an example what was born during one of these, like I, I would say after workshop care packages, because Honey, who is also, and she tells me, love you, Honey. And I'm so happy that I actually know you in person. And Honey, she took, she participated in the Byzantine workshop a year or two ago, I think, here in the Netherlands, in The Hague, in the limited edition shop. And two weeks ago, I invited her to join me one more time, if she wants to, and she decided to. And during these workshops, besides teaching the beginners the basic designs i also try to challenge those who are taking the workshop for the second time you can also take it the third time by the way there is no limit <laughs> so if you if you are taking it the second time and also in the groups i try to challenge you to move forward with it and like maybe transform the bracelet into a pendant, into an earring, make an even bigger bracelet, change up the colors completely, apply the knowledge somewhere else, because this is just the beginning. And Honey, she participated in the Byzantine workshop. And afterwards, she beaded this beautiful, beautiful pendant. I will hide my original i just wanted to uh, show it to you so you know where it started and then honey bee did this and isn't it amazing ladies for me it really brings back the style of the romanov jewelry from russia we had an exhibition about the romanov jewelry here in the hermitage in amsterdam i saw it in december and it really brings back that style for me. I also watched a documentary uh, about the Romanovs last week, actually. <laughs> and this is it. And Honey, I wanted to thank you for accepting the challenge. And I wanted to congratulate you because this is amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for being with me. And I'm looking now at the comments because, sorry, I couldn't keep an eye on everything. And in the meanwhile, Sarah joined us. And thank you for all the comments. I will not put everything on screen because I am, I am blushing. But yeah, Sarah says, I know exactly what you are talking about. I have been there and without this community, it would have been worse. So I am glad we all have this together, thanks to you. I'm the seed, you are beaders but, uh, who make it bloom. Remember, okay? And Joanna is with us and thank you, Gunnell. And thank you, Alice. Alice was also part of the Starstorm workshop. And Cheryl about the workshop. Okay, I will put it on screen because I'm so happy that she liked it. Cheryl says, having done a workshop, I can say you know by the end what you do and then some. Uh, that workshop 
the workshop is just brilliant, but it's also lovely to have the group. Thank you, Cheryl. And yeah, everyone likes Connie's pendant. <laughs> it's beautiful. I see woes and beautifuls and very nices everywhere and majestic from Corinne. <laughs> Lynn is asking for a bead embroidery project for a Friday. Let's see, for the next couple of weeks I have topics already uh, planned and then we can try to do something. I have to come up with something what is like fairly quick so we can do it in like two hours max. And yeah. Oh, and Mektab would, would like to join in the future and I would love that Mektab. Practice, practice, practice with us on Fridays and I'm looking forward to, to uh, beat with you during a workshop too. And finally, let's get started with the Tirana necklace. So I hope you ladies already have the material. I will put aside my tribute ring for now, but I hope I will also see some very nice variations from you. It's always a pleasure to see my designs in your colors. It's very, it's, it's a very nice experience how the design is coming alive on your on your beading mat and let's do now a quick material check so this we we can check if we have everything for the necklace this is our first necklace what we are beading by the way we, we have done pendants but not a necklace before so we will need five pieces of six millimeter round pearls we need one or two colors of number 11 seed beads and yeah, one color is that should be like the stronger color which is right around the uh, six millimeter round pearl and then there are some more pieces at the edge of the motif then we will also need half tila beads we will need quarter tila beads we will need three millimeter bicon beads by the way i added bicon beads only on the upper edge of the bracelet but i tried it for you because i know that many of you really like blingy blingy so it is also possible to fill in bicon beads on the bottom edge of the motif so then you can have eight bicons and not four of them you will also need Miyoki Delica 11s. Uh, you will also need a teardrop in a metal setting. By the way, ladies, I just got some new, even more. So some of the some of the glass drops in metal settings they are sold out they were sold out but actually i just i just unpacked something some more here on my table and they will be available soon and i just want to show you something because i will not show it, show, show you everything but there are some which i oh my god i have to so we have like this also rainbow colored glass drops in metal settings yeah corinna says i am bad i am but you know it's your fault ladies because i didn't really have any more glass drops for myself like i when i saw the enthusiasm then i said event i told event that okay you don't have to put aside anymore for me let the ladies have them so it's also your fault because now i had to get also for myself again <laughs> and also like we will have oval shaped ones in rainbow colors <laughs> in many 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 rainbow colors and 
Kata is asking if they are the same. I tried to restock those which are, that are uh, out of stock at the moment, but there are more, even more shapes and colors. And, okay, okay, I have to show you one which is my, uh, I think, my favorite from this batch. Okay, I mean, again, believe it or not, I fall again with my bike yesterday, so I'm in a pain. So when I move, then that's why I do all kinds of funny faces. And while the drops we had up until this, this, this moment, this moment, the, uh, then uh, they were more on the romantic side, but I managed to find, look at this. It's more like, I would say, uh, for a badass rock and roll or like art deco earring or necklace. I, I love it. I put aside two for myself. I also want to have some this time. <laughs> and Sharon says, mine just arrived this week, just in time for the necklace. That's wonderful. And Alicia says that she needs rocket black rocket beads. And I know that Kata needs yellow. You know, like the problem why we are not having more colors because Preciosa wants us to order like I think 2000 of one color. So we couldn't really, but we will do our best in the future to have more rocket beads and different colors because I also want yellow ones <laughs> and black and purple and every everything. <laughs> and let's start beading. Finally. Finally, Erika is always talking so much. Shut up. <laughs> so ladies, do you have do you have your <laughs> <laughs> okay, Teresa is saying that I am deflecting my issues to my beading constituents. <laughs> Sorry for blaming you for my obsession. You're right, Teresa. <laughs> I can blame only myself. I'm a beadaholic. Okay, Sarah noticed. Not this the mistake already. Oh my god. This is the one time you know when I didn't uh, usually Zuzi is my proof beater and she is on vacation. There should be 22 around. Two times ten and then one plus one. But let me guide you through it when I'm there. So, okay, now I'm not focused anymore because I'm focusing on step number four if there is a mistake or not. <gasps> I'm sorry if there is. Let's get started. Do you have the beads, ladies? So, and yes, I will be getting more honeycombs. <laughs> and okay, thank you for thank you for telling me that I'm not alone. <laughs> Lynn says, I think we are all beadaholics. That's why we are here every Friday. <laughs> and Sharon says, aren't we all? Beads are my drug of choice. And by the way, Zuzi asked me if she, uh, like ten minutes, minutes before five if she can she can go through the tutorial. So it's not her fault. It's it's my fault that it's not tested this time. I was ready like very, very, very late and I didn't want to disturb her and didn't want to ask her why she's on holiday. But she's so nice that she would actually have done it. <gasps> okay, let's get started. <laughs> and thank you for accepting my humanity. So I'm also scared of my colors. So as always, let's start with a number 12 4LB fire line of a comfortable length. 
and pick up one six millimeter round pearl, leave a tail of 10 to 12 centimeters, and then pick up five pieces of half tila beads. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure that the holes are not clogged. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, after picking up five half tila beads, I bead through the pearl one more time so the beads are forming a semicircle around the pearl. And then I repeat it on the other side of the pearl. So I pick up five more half tila beads and I bead through the pearl one more time. Oh, and Ursula has a very clever remark. You just have to accept that that is two different things to be addicted about. Beading is one and hoarding beading supplies is the other. <laughs> Absolutely. So, and then we added the 10 half tila beads around the pearl. Then I want to connect them all to each other. So, we bead all around the 10 beads, the 10 half tila beads, and then one more. So we go through all the beads, the, all the five beads which we picked up right at the beginning. Then we continue through the second group of five beads. And then we also go through the first half tila bead from the first group. Mm, Becca, it's, uh, Becca is asking which bit should be 15A and 15B. I think the 15A should be like the one which is like a stronger color because that will be the one around the pearl. Okay, Niti says, hearing this, someone is laughing in the room. Finally, he got it. <laughs> Say hello to Martin, please. <laughs> so, and when we connected all the beads, the first holes to each other, we are going to connect the second holes to. We will connect pairs of the half tila beads. So after step two, let's turn to the opposite direction and bead through the open hole of the two last half tila beads. So bead backwards through two, open, two of the half tila beads and then bead through the first holes again in the original direction and bead through two more half tila beads. And then again, connect the open holes and then continue in the original direction. And so on and so on. So there will be five pairs of half tila beads around your six millimeter round pearl. By the way, Niti, you can tell to Martin that beading is a hobby, hoarding beading supplies is a hobby, and arranging beading supplies is a third hobby.
So, ladies, tell me please that how are you doing? After you connected the half tilas to each other, then bead through the first half tila of the first pair what you connected. It is next to the hole of the six millimeter round pearl. And then please bead through the six millimeter round pearl. And at this point, I am going to count the beads one more time to make sure that we have the right amount. This is always a nightmare. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. No, one more time. I will count in Hungarian. I have to count in my mother tongue. <laughs> Twenty-two, okay, twenty-two beads around the around the pearl. So I will put number four on the screen, and yeah you you pick up two times ten and one one plus one and Catalin says arranging supplies is not on my hobby list that is my biggest uFO forever oh Cheryl there are also the hobby of admiring other people's bead deliveries indeed ladies uh ladies. It's like amazing to see when you post the pictures. I love seeing it. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for like trusting me with your bead orders. And thank you so much for like sharing the pictures. And I would actually like to ask a little favor of you. So we need your helping hand. I would like to ask you when you snap a picture to show it in our storytelling beading club that what you have got from us then if you have an extra minute then please take the time to show it to your other beading friends too on your personal facebook profile or in a beading group where it is allowed and tell them that it is it is from us and tell them that we are taking care of your of your bead delivery as well. We are, thanks to you, we are growing. And from September, we will actually have one more colleague helping us, a sweet girl. She was, she's starting on the 1st of September, but she already asked Yvette in August a couple of times, like, can I come and help you and play with the beads? So some of the beads were already packed by her. And while it is amazing, it is also like a big responsibility to take care of, of, of my helpers. And please, I would like to ask for your helping hand in this. And please may take a moment and share your, share your pictures. If you can, that would be, that would be amazing. So thank you so much. <gasps> Okay, Kiki says, no, then my husband will see it. Okay, that is a good, that is a good uh, uh, excuse. Or just never tell him how much did it cost. <laughs> okay, Kiki says, it's one instead of 10 in the, uh, in the text. Okay, at least it's like really obvious. I'm sorry about the mistake. <laughs> Gata says, with posting it on my vomit, I must be careful. My family might proceed to institutionalize me. <laughs> well, I think Adam would be scared if, if he knew like how much, 
that this beat costs like I, I totally understand you. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much if you do that, but please make sure that it's not a not a not a grouping of another beading bead shop, of course. Only when it is allowed. I would never ask you to do something what is not nice to someone else in the beading business. But if you can, then it is much, much, much appreciated. Or if you write a review, if you show your pieces to your friends and tell them that where do the beats come from, or you tell them that what are we doing on Friday evenings, that everything is really helpful and very much appreciated. Oh my God, Sarah, Sarah made a mistake. She says, I told my BF what my caption order cost. I have to be so nice to him now. <laughs> you know, I have, a, I have a good one. Adam has new hobbies and I am now encouraging him to like, oh honey, you need that new joystick for your flight simulator. So then it is justified. The drops are justified. <laughs> and sorry, back to step number four. <sighs> So, yeah, we are exiting the pearl in the middle. And please pick up 10 pieces of number 15 seed beads. These seed beads, they will be hiding the little gap between the pearl and the half tilas. So pick up, please, the 10 seed beads, bead through the pearl, and then do the same one more time. Pick up 10 seed beads, and bead through the pearl again. So there will be two semicircles of seed beads around the pearl. Probably you are already by step 10, just I am so slow. <laughs> uh oh, Niti, she says, that's a huge mistake to leave the broadcast on speakers. <laughs> Ladies, some of our... <laughs> our uh, S O. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, some four boyfriends are also here with us. <laughs> Just kidding, he is fine with it. Martin is great. <laughs> All hail Martin. <laughs> and Sarah says, here it is bicycled as, and fishing things and I told him to buy. <laughs> yeah, I hope Martin also has a hobby. <laughs> And Beverly says, 10 seems to be too many for me. Can I use less since we are adding two more in the next step? Hmm. If that's strange that it seems too many because that's how, that's how it works out. Are you sure you have a six millimeter pearl? It should be, uh, now I counted it one more time. So it is indeed Beverly two times 10, and then we are adding two more. It is 22. So please make sure that your, that your pearl is the right size. Are the others okay with the 22, per, uh, 22 beads, by the way? How are you ladies doing? Too many. Are you using number 15s or number 11s? Tell me, please. Because it is number 15 and indeed it has to be 22. Okay, we have yeses. So I hope that it means that it works out well. It is a six millimeter pearl and indeed 22 pieces 
of Miyuki seed beads. Okay, I get a lot of people saying, a lot of, lot of you saying, no, it is seed beads. Uh, it has to be seed beads. Sarah is okay, Teresa is okay, Monica is... Monica uses 20. Hmm. Do you maybe have Toho? Connie is okay, Alice is okay, Kata is okay. For With Miyuki, it should be 22 pieces, 2 times 10 plus 1 and 1 at the top and the bottom. But if you think that it is too much, if you maybe use like Toho beads, then use as many or the coating as Mariella says. Uh, Miriam, if in your case 22 is too much and 20 is too less, then add the extra bead only on one side and then you can have 21. So it is, it is also possible to use 21 seed beads. I use Miyuki, by the way, and I use a metallic coating of the Miyuki bead. So please, if for some reason it is too much or too little for you, then please adjust it. It is not a problem to adjust it because, uh, because uh, we are not connecting anything else to this ring of number 15s. So if you think that for your beads it's for some reason too much, then yeah, then go less. It has, has to be like tight around the pearl. Gunnel also is okay with 22. So it might be indeed that someone mentioned that even there can be also, um, also differences between the, uh, the pearls, between Miyuki and Toho, and even between the different coatings. But adjust it, feel free to adjust it if you think it, it's needed. Yeah, and <laughs> when you adjusted it, uh, or like for step five, you will be adding, if you need, a bead on the top and on the bottom. So you bead around the swar of, uh, bead around the seed beads, and you add one at the, to at the top and at the bottom to connect the two groups of 10. And bead around like one, two times to make this ring sturdy. And Kim says that she's using Swarovski. I am using Czech glass pearls. So that can be a difference. I know that a couple of weeks ago when we were beading, I think, Kachaturian, then Zuzi had the same problem that she had Swarovski pearls. So then feel free to adjust it if you think it's needed. And when you bead it a couple of times around the ring, then finish by beading through the pearl itself. And I will hide now step number three and I will put on screen step number six. And let me know how does it go, how is it going with the adjusting. So at this point, you went through the pearl and then please bead through the first hole of the half tila on the left side of the hole of the pearl. And then add quarter tila beads between the pairs of half tilas. 
Okay, Katya says she has Swarovski purse and Miyuki and works fine and also for Sheryl. Then if you still have a problem, then please snap a picture and please post it in the storytelling beading group. And after the broadcast, I will look at it and hopefully find out that what is going on. And now I am at the point when I have to make my brave move because I am beading a color combination which I have never worked with before. So I am combining Picasso dark blue half tila beads with this like luster peach, luster peach colored quarter tilas. Don't know how much you see from it. I will, I will show it to you when the broadcast is over, but it is, it is like a bit unusual for me. I am not uncomfortable with it, like with last week's black beads when Hilly challenged me to use black beads. I am not anxious about the peach colored ones, but it is something I have never worked with before. By the way, I wanted to mention this might be interesting for our Swedish ladies and everyone who is participating in the Stockholm Bead Along that since I managed to order the glass drops in metal settings so fast, then some of the other LIDA kits, including the blue one, are available again. Not the Mystic Forest, not the green one, because there we ran out of quarter tillas, but the other colors, everything is available again. So after I added quarter tilla beads, after every second half tila, then I bead through the first pair of half tila, through the first hole first, and then I turn to the opposite direction by beading through the second hole of the half tila beads, both of them. And please let me know how you are doing. I will continue now to step seven. I don't see comments coming in. So hopefully you are focusing and there is no technical issue, but sometimes it happens indeed. That for some reason, I don't see your comments. Okay, Mechtaf, that's very nice. I'm glad that you are happy with what you are working with. So now we will be working with the Delica beads and if you wish, then the second color of number 15. I will have a second color. If you want, you can also use the same color for number 15, but I think it's nice if the circle around the pearl is more in focus. Okay. I see you are doing good. Alice, Nicoline, Kata, Corinne, Beverly adjusted. Okay, Teresa is working on her second motive already. Fantastic. So we will be adding between the half tila, the second hole, and the quarter tila, a delica and a number 15. And after the quarter tila, we pick up the same but in the opposite order. So number 15, delica, and then we bead through the outside holes of the half tila beads and then over and over again the same adjust uh, the same uh, combination and sharon says doing well and like my colors after some initial adjustment what are you working with sharon viveka loves uh, loves her color choice i'm curious Sarah is also happy and I am also happy also because I am now adding some turquoise because so delicate and I love those. <laughs> I think turquoise beads, but you know that already, but also Picasso finish 
it's really it's really nice i love it it gives a bit of texture i think like an optical illusion of texture to a motif and a bit of like vintagey feel <laughs> Peach, by the way, this peach, pink, orange color I'm working with. It is something what may I have maybe never used before at all. Not only with combi in combination with the dark blue, but I can't recall if I've ever used it before. <laughs> And just as with the bigger designs, with Byzantine and Star Storm and all the rest, you can also play, of course, with the Tirana motif. So, do you already have some ideas, maybe, that how to how to play with this little motif? I'm curious to hear, and I won't tell you my ideas before you tell me tell me yours. So I don't want to like influence yours, you, you with what I what popped into my mind. I'm curious to hear how your brain is working. <laughs> so Mektab is working with turquoise, by the way. Gunnel says blue, lilac, and bronze. That sounds really good. Okay, and in step seven, we stop beading after we go through two half tila beads. I hide step number five and I put on screen step number eight, which is already the beginning of the second motif. And Kata says ring, earring, and also bracelet. Absolutely. Eleanor was thinking of a ring. And Sharon is working with light, amy, gold, luster, half tila, lavender, pearl, opal, ceylon, quarter tila, gold, delica, matte, silver, line, gold, and silver, line, matte, silver, 15s. Honey, white, turquoise, gold, red, and chicken poop. Is chicken, uh, yeah, I, uh, then, then chicken poop is a new color in your color arsenal, I think. I'm very used to your turquoise, gold, red combination, but I can't recall now you using chicken poop. <laughs> and Sheria says, I like the one completed motif and want to bead embroider it into a ring. Amazing. And Dev says, can't wait to see everyone's finished pieces. Same for me. <laughs> it's always the most exciting times when you are when you are posting your, your finished pieces or working progress pieces. Beverly is working with turquoise, silver and white. Connie has used chicken shit before. Eleanor is working with orange and turquoise. Petra has hematit, silver and black. That sounds very elegant. <laughs> and now, in step number eight, I will attach two half tilas to the pair of half tilas I am exiting at the moment. I would recommend to repeat this part of the thread path. Then you go through the new half tilas, 
then the old half tilas, and then the new half tilas again. And then I am turning to the opposite direction by beading through the open holes of the new half tila beads. And in step number nine, we pick up two pieces of half tila beads, then a pearl and another half tila. And these three new half tila beads, together with the two we picked up in step number eight, they will make up a group of five half tilas, just as we added right at the beginning. So, this is like the first semicircle of half tilas around the pearl. And Corinna says, it doesn't sound too good using chicken poop. Yeah, sorry for all our alternate name for the avocado green. By the way, people, you have to promise me that when you are talking about Lenka's art cabochon and she might read it, call it avocado. She hates chicken shit. <laughs> the name. <laughs> Let's be nice to her. <laughs> you can call everything else chicken shit. <gasps> I call it chicken shit too, but when we are talking about Lenka's cabochons, then let's, let's honor her wish and let's call it avocado, okay? Let's be nice to her. We love her cabochons. We, we want her to make more, especially in chicken shit, right? And step number 10, this one you will know already, you will recognize already, because all you need to do is you pick up five pieces of half tila beads and then you bead through the pearl one more time. So now you have the two semicircles of five and five, five and five, half tila beads. And now I think you know what are we going to do. I will show the picture again. Okay, Niti has to go. Thank you for spending some time with us and thank you for the tiramisu again. It was really delicious and for everything and for your visit especially. And take care during the weekend and have a wonderful time. So, and in step number 11, we are basically repeating what we have done before, that we will connect the half tila, we will go through all the half tila beads all around and then we are going to connect them into pairs by beading through the second holes. Kata is waving, Alice says bye Niti, and Cheryl is too, saying goodbye to Niti. <laughs> you know, we should be really grateful for Niti. She was supplying me with coffee, like an enormous, insane amount of coffee. And coffee makes me creative. 
and coffee makes me efficient. So that means more designs and more tutorials. <laughs> Nicolene is staying, that's good. That's good. We don't want to create UFOs. We don't finish before we before we we don't go away before we finish. Okay, we will finish now two motifs together, but then everyone has to finish it and post it in the group. <laughs> So after joining the half dinners, I bead through the pearl itself and I add the two groups of, in my case, 10 number 15 beads. And if you need to adjust, then feel free to adjust the number of, the number of seed beads around the pearl. <laughs> How are you doing, ladies? Please keep me updated. I am adding the number 15 around my second motif. And I'm really happy how it is turning around, turning out. <laughs> It has the whole motif as we are, like the big whole thing, how we are connecting the small motifs. It has a gentle curve. So that's what gave me the idea for the necklace, for this front part of the necklace. However, I think that if we continue beading more motifs than five, then actually 10 would be enough for a circle. And probably it is possible to uh, to put a big cabochon, to attach a big cabochon in the middle. So that's also a possibility to explore. And Iris says she is busy. <laughs> that's good. Busy hands, busy beading hands. I am now adding the plus two seed beads in the circle and I bead around one more time. So then when the circle of the seed beads is sturdier, then it will not like flap down or something because it is not attached to the rest, just at two points. So it needs to be a bit like strong, this ring, to stay where it is supposed to stay. By the way, I remember like two weeks ago, we were all complaining about the weather and how hot it is and that it's very hard to focus and very hard to beat. Well, now it's raining and I think summer is over here in the Netherlands, probably. And I was already wearing my autumn clothes, my autumn coat this week. So there is no more complaining about the hot weather. Now starts the complaining about the gray weather and the rain. <laughs> I beat it around for more time and then I went back to my half tila beads and now I am going to add quarter tila beads between the pairs of half tila. And when I'm done, then 
I will be adding seed beads again all around the motif. However, at the side, which is like the connection between the first and the second motif, I will not be adding new seed beads, but I will bead through the seed beads added in the previous part where around the first motif that will be those will be like part of the first and the second motif also and sherry says i'm just perfect as long as my windows are open nice breeze in the uk oh good for you sherry i don't mind the breeze and i don't mind that it is like a bit colder it's okay but it's really raining and actually there was even a bigger storm this week so i was not happy about that also adam today just uh, before i started the video with you ladies Adam tried to go to uh, an indonesian takeaway shop here in this on the street to grab some food for us for tomorrow usually i cook but tomorrow i will not have time and he just couldn't go because of the wind and everything and ladies as i am finishing the second motive we will shortly finish for today so we will soon finish for today so if you have any 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 questions then please let me know i am still very happy to answer them if not then post them please in the storytelling reading club and then i can answer them later And Gunnar says, we would need a lot of rain here for nature. It's terribly dry. That's so true. We are always like, I'm always like thinking about myself. Like, I want to try nice warm weather, but actually that's not what the nature needs. You are so right, Ursula. Oh, Sherry says, most people will think I'm insane as it's very windy and wet here too. Okay. <laughs> oh, Nicoline. Nicoline says, just the remark, I love this motif. Thanks. Thank you so much for, 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 for being here and being here and I am really happy that you liked the motif, Nicoline. I'm curious to see your necklace. It's a quick one. We like quick ones, right? <laughs> Corinna likes it too. <laughs> I'm glad, ladies. And you are happy, I am happy. <laughs> So I finished my second motif and I will bead around one more time to make it nice and even. And I wanted to show you that this part where I put the eight millimeter purse, it's actually completely up to you that what kind of beads will you add there because we are not connecting anything else there so you can go smaller you can go bigger it really has an effect on the overall look of the necklace that i used chunkier bigger eight millimeter big purse so the whole it is like a, there is a contrast between this uh front part which is i think very romantic with the gloss drop and then the beads are chunkier so it is like a 
a contrasting play between the two parts. But you can go smaller, you can go even bigger, you can uh, you can uh, use fire polished beads, you can use gemstones, you can, for example, instead of a beaded rope, you can uh, use a chain or you can crochet, you can do kumihimo, whatever you like. Oh, Corinna is asking, Erica, did you finish Helena's medallion? No, like I would love to, but I simply didn't have the time. No, but slowly, slowly, step by step, <laughs> but it's still a new a UFO for now. And Sharon is asking, where do the bicons go? Well, they go on the edge here. So when you have done all the five motifs, then you will be adding bicons between the motifs on the smaller angle. So you add four pieces of bicon beads. And actually, you can add also bicon beads at the bottom of the of the motifs. So you can use four or eight, it's up to you. And Iris says, I have chosen a very funny color combo, but I think the final piece will turn out quite okay. We will see. I am very curious. <laughs> Oh, Sharon was also asking, where do the big ones go? Yeah, that's the that's the necklace part. Okay, ladies, do you have any more questions? I just would like to mention that if you download the printable, then on the last page, you always find a coupon code for a specific product or product group, which is used in the uh, in the specific tutorial. So in this case, I included a 15% coupon code for half tilas and quarter tilas and the big tila beads, the real tilas, in case that you would like to get more colors or you need to add some more to your stash. And everyone can use the code once. So, if you don't have any more questions, then I just want to mention, like, check out my bead embroidery tutorial if you are in the mood for bead embroidery. And you can find it on YouTube or, uh, under Beading School. Oh my God, Amy is here. And Amy is celebrating too. I was actually looking forward. <laughs> to seeing you here. I wanted to congratulate you. So happy birthday, Amy. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm so glad you popped up before we would finish. <laughs> so yeah, have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Thank you so much for for joining me. It was really nice to spend some time with you again. And see you next week at the usual time on Tuesday. I am looking forward to see your finished pieces. Bye bye.